All right, this is gonna be a quick unboxing of the Tesla wall connector. Sorry, I think it's called high powered wall connector usually, but this is it, this is the box. I've already cut it open so that this can go by quickly. Nice. Wow. So I got the one with the 24 foot long cable. So here's your, your manual. I have the electricians are here right now. They're doing the drilling and everything, getting ready to mount this thing in. Just figured I would show all the parts. It's all in bubble wrap. I don't think there's anything else to really show. So if you want something to hang it on, uh, I guess you'll have to buy an extra piece and I didn't, I didn't know that really. So, cause this looks like just the wall mounting kit. Spacer part. Okay, so I took the plastic off. Uh, I don't know if it's me. This is supposed to be a second generation, but I thought there was supposed to be like a little green light that would flash down the middle, and um, I don't see that now. So, but it looks it looks pretty new to me. I mean, it looks a little different than the ones I've seen. See. We'll see how it works out. So we have the hole. Um, just for the record, this is not my thing. I am not an electrician, so I hired TE certified electricians to do this installation. Um, they've been down in the basement for quite a while right now, making sure they get things right. I don't know if they want me filming them but I will get some video of what they did with the circuit breaker downstairs and everything. But so far, this is where we're at, and I think we're getting close to them coming up here and, you know, completing this sub panel and mounting the high-powered wall connector on the wall. So, over and out. So the job is complete. It took them a little over four hours to complete it. Uh, so we've got these, uh, this surge protector that was added by TE. That's Thrasher Electronics, or I'm sorry, Thrasher Electricians. Very, very good, very good. Um, <clears throat> just wanna show you, we haven't finished our basement yet, but they ran the cable here. I don't know if you can see that hole there, but then they drilled up and came out past the mudroom into the garage. I'm gonna show you that. And now here we are in the garage. Oh, by the way, uh, when you open up the box, you can't really see this thing right here where the green light, it, it looks, when it's off, it looks just, you can't see it. <laughs> So you can't tell that, that it's translucent there and that you're gonna get the uh, the green light as it's charging, but here it is, it looks great. I'm getting about <clears throat> 48 miles of range per hour so far, which I'm very satisfied with because I had plugged up to, I believe what was in the earlier version of this, the version one, and I didn't seem to get much better than than 30 or like low 30 miles of range per hour. So this is this is really good. And I've got the 72 amp charger <clears throat> on board in my vehicle, which helps. So 
But here it is. They did a they did a fantastic job. Looks really good. I'm gonna have them do some other things as well, but it's really nice to have this at the house. This makes a huge difference if you are one of those people who can handle having to run to a supercharger when you need to charge up and you know you feel like it's worth the savings then anyway i was saying uh that's why you don't want to film with your phone because you get cut off but yeah if it's worth the savings to you to <clears throat> to do the supercharger then by all means go ahead and do it but i am all about you know just plugging up whenever at home and knowing that the car will finish up in just a couple of hours, especially if you ride around with over 100 miles of range. I mean, right here it's telling me <clears throat> that I only have an hour and five minutes remaining and this thing will be back at a full charge uh, <clears throat> to the limit that I set. So I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I, I think it's definitely the way to go. I highly recommend the high powered wall connector uh, by Tesla if you want to charge from home. I, definitely think it's better than going with the NEMA 1450.